Good morning, Internet. All right, where we left off yesterday, uh, we were mounting sill plates to the floor, which was done. Uh, so today we're going to put some studs in place so that we can start hanging a new electrical panel. Uh, there's one leaning up against the old panel, but essentially over here in this corner, <clears throat> uh, we're going to be constructing the basis of a new wall. And so that will basically run all the way up. We'll have a couple beside it, and then we can mount the electrical panel in it. All right, I've done a bit more cleaning. Uh, so now down here, uh, this is obviously not the correct board because it's not pressure treated, but I just put it in place to see where the new wall would be because there's an area over here where it bumps out uh, more than it, than it does over here. So we have a slight gap, but uh, this produces a square corner, and that kind of gives me an idea of where our first stud can be, which is probably going to be uh, right in this area here. So, um, it's most likely not gonna line up with these floor joists because they're 18 inches on center and the studs have to be 16. So I think I am gonna do a top plate uh, that goes across those and then we'll do these new studs on 16 inch centers. I also need to measure the width of the new panel uh, to see exactly what kind of gap it needs. It should fit within a 16 inch gap, uh, but we'll open it up and we'll double check. This is the inside of the new load center, and we need 14 and an eighth minimum clearance. So we'll make sure that we've got that to mount it in between the studs.
All right, quick progress update. We have our first two studs in place. Uh, the electrical panel is going to get mounted in between these two then. So that's exciting. Uh, those are tied to the bottom plate. I decided to start uh, 16 inches off the corner uh, because that'll make a nice surface to hang the drywall on when we go to do that. So that'll be nice and easy. There'll be another stud here on the other wall then. Uh, so to make a nice corner for our drywall. It does create a little bit of a, an overhang on the upper board, but I wanted to be able to attach the uh, top plate to that other floor joist, so that's why that overhangs a little bit. Same story over here, I wanted to be able to tie this in just for added strength. Depending on the plumbing situation here, I may actually have to bring the wall down and, and basically build like a boxed out kind of thing here. I don't know if this is gonna be the final plumbing arrangement yet, so we may end up changing that at some point, but I honestly don't need to do that part of the wall just yet. Uh, the main goal was to have this particular stud in place so we could hang the panel. So I'm getting ready to uh, hang the panel now, and I gotta read the instructions to see how they want it framed out and what depth I gotta leave for drywall and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna get that read and hopefully get it hung. There she is, the finished product. So this is a nice, real solid mount, doesn't wiggle at all. I feel real good about it. It's tied in both the top and the bottom now. So that is the first stud of our completed wall, and we have a panel in it, which is exciting news. So, that means the next step, uh, these wires that are coiled here at my feet, we're gonna take from where they come out of the ceiling down here, we're going to drill holes through every single one of the floor joists basically make a path that goes all the way down and then we'll tie those into the new box. Once that's done, uh, we can at some point down the power in the house and do the panel swap. Uh, that'll probably be a bit of an adventure and I'll have to do it during the day because I won't have any light because there won't be any power. Mm -hmm. 